Ivan, thank you very much for being the part of the European Cloud Summit 2022. How was your first experience like coming to the European Cloud Summit and how was the keynote you held on Wednesday? The flight was fine, the train was fine, I came here and the atmosphere like, was exciting. Bunch of people, different backgrounds, yeah, like it quite much. It's a, it's a nice venue, a nice event. Keynote itself, I hope I did a good job, tried to show what we do as a company, as a Rimas Technology and Rimas Group. Uh, but also what we do particularly in simulation department that I'm head of. And the idea was to show a big picture, like how does everything fit in a, in a big scale. And when you see performance of the car, what is some of the background magic that we do to, to make the components that we are producing in Rima's technology state of the art as they are. And that they are powerful enough, that they are functional enough, and that they are reliable, and that they can give enough power and energy to Rimas Nevera to win world records. Uh, actually mentioning the processes, how you're doing it, and I saw your keynote, I was pretty much amazed by the information you actually gave to the audience, like how much employees you had in the beginning, and uh, now uh, not only one headquarters, but few of the offices across the Europe. So we can say that, and we are proud actually to have you with us, because Rimas technology, it's probably one of the best examples how actually cloud computing helps like develop the, one of the best projects which actually we've seen like probably in 21st century. So how actually cloud computing helps you not only developing, you know, the parts as you mentioned, mm -hmm. which you focus on more than a whole car in a mm -hmm. keynote, but also in stimulating and in all your department. In Rima technology, we are developing and manufacturing, testing the components of electric powertrain, batteries, ECUs, and um, you can design that, you can manufacture that, and then you do, do physical tests. That's slow and expensive. So what we do in between is you design something, you build a virtual model of that, you simulate it, and then um, you have a check with the requirements. If the requirements are met, fine, you can proceed with design, but if not, you have to do the, the corrections of the design. And this is where the part of simulation is. So we are like a virtual prototype where you can do the test in the virtual world and that saves money and brings the, the cost down. How the cloud fits into that? To solve, so simulations are basically mathematical models which are solving huge sets of equations. To solve those equations you need computing power. And you don't need any kind of computing power, you need a lot of it. Our internal HPC cluster with 600 cores is fine, but we need more. We need more cores, we need more RAM. And that's why we migrated to HPC solution at Azure for the peak loads and for the more complex jobs that we are running. That allows us to integrate more physics into single model and have more and more reliable models, uh, more and more accurate models. And we got results faster. And with that, we're saving time in the whole development process. The experience with cloud, it was nice, but it's not easy as it might seem. There is lots of background work that needs to be done by the IT professionals. But once when everything is set up, we have a customized environment and, and then the things are working quite well. Electric cars are more and more like becoming a thing, especially in the countries where you actually come in garage. How actually do you beat the competition? Because you showed the, a couple of the videos at the keynote and actually uh, Rimac's car beating the Ferrari was amazing. You are like doing the best or better than others because it's obvious that you are like a one step ahead now in producing like I mean you produce the car which is almost 2000 uh, horsepower and I, I mean I have 175 <laughs> horsepower in my car you know so that's that's quite impressive so what's that step you are heading in front of others Rimas Nevera is a showcase of what we can do it was designed, developed and manufactured in, in Croatia, yeah. in, in Rimac Automobili. At that time, now Rimac Group, or Bugatti Rimac, and, and us in Rimac Technology. By the local engineers, predominantly in-house, everything from scratch. And we wanted to show what electrification can do. And the car was specially optimized to be able to win all those records. We've done lots of simulations in multiple teams, not just mine, to be able to do that. But that was the idea. That was the idea. We wanted to define the 
electric hypercar market. And, and this is something what we believe we did with Nevera. And that's like high-end product. Mm -hmm. you, you mentioned that uh, electric cars are spreading all over the place, even in Eastern Europe. There you have a different challenge. Average driver do not need 200 horsepower. Yeah. Around 90, 100, 110 <laughs> should be enough. <laughs> 200 if you're a bit more enthusiastic. I wouldn't say that you need more, but okay, we, we, we can agree to disagree. <laughs> and there, it's, it's a different challenge. You want to produce multiple components, thousands, tens of thousands of components, and then the design has, let's say, more constraints because your, your process of how you make things has to be adaptable for serial production. So you have to design it in a way that it is producible in high volumes. You have to take care of the, the, the costs, efficiencies, uh, tests, safety. Safety is a major issue, especially for the battery packs. You need to take care of all, all of that and still you should be able to produce that in tens of thousands of samples. It's hard, I would say in a way it's a harder challenge than to build a Vera. Seriously impressive, like, and we are so glad to have like, this very successful story within the Cloud Summit. Uh, just for the end, we saw this video of Mate, uh, the CEO of the company, was driving with the former Formula One, uh, Nico. Nico uh, Yeah, He is just across the bridge here, actually. Really? Yeah, he is from uh, Wiesbaden. Uh, okay. And we were like, when we were preparing the conference, I was asking my colleague Elena, let's just, you know, ask them to bring the car or do something here. Yeah. And she's like, no, I don't think so, that will work out. So then I actually came up with this. I saw Matt driving, I mean, of course, the cars all the time. But th do you drive like the, the Rimac car? Like, you have to love the cars, you know, when you're working at Rimac technology and stuff. So. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, I didn't have time, I didn't have the opportunity to drive it. I, I was sitting in it, playing around with different features, yeah. but I didn't have the opportunity to drive it. It wasn't important for me mm -hmm. to drive it. What was important to send the cars to tests, yep. either to uh, road driving, racetrack driving. Uh, you've seen a bunch of videos of crash tests. Yeah. So that was important. That's why, like, okay, there will be time for me to drive it. <laughs> I would really like to. Feedbacks that I'm receiving uh, um, astonishing what the car can do, but it will have to wait. Yeah, actually, actually, it's important to know, so actually for our viewers and everyone else, that the car we see on the street, actually, it's like that because you and your team and many of other guys actually go through many of the processes to accomplish the security, the safety of the car and, and everything else you, you have. Thank you very much for your time. I hope so. We'll see you again around at some of the, of the conferences. And uh, what was the next record you want to beat? Uh, well, only Just thing don't tell me you're switching on, to the planes or something. No, no, no. no. <laughs> only, on, only thing I, I'm allowed to say is stay tuned. There will be cool stuff coming from us as always. And there will be lots of cool events when we'll, we are going to break many records. Stay, stay tuned. Videos oh, will. will be awesome. We will definitely. Thank you very much. Thank you.